Hi, I'm Jennifer, certified English teacher and communications expert. In today's video, I'm going to share three tips on how to speak English fast. At the end of the video, I'll share with you a bonus tip that will help you sound very natural. All right, let's get started. Tip one, don't speak English fast. Okay, so I don't want your goal to be speaking English fast. The reason is a lot of students mistake fast and natural. Students think English speakers speak fast because to them it is fast because they don't understand the language as well. So when they watch a movie, it sounds so fast. But honestly, for English speakers, it isn't fast. It's a natural pace. Your goal is to speak English naturally because speaking English fast is actually not a good quality from a communications perspective. The reason why it sounds fast is because English speakers don't put pauses between our words. Pausing makes you sound unnatural and it also slows you down. So right now I want that to be your goal. Eliminate your pauses, speak at a natural pace. Tip two, understand linking. I just told you about reducing pauses to increase the speed. Another thing that English speakers always do, which might be a more difficult concept for you to understand, is linking. We link our sounds together. And often through linking, we change pronunciation and we change it so we're able to say the sentence smoother. And because of that, it comes out faster. So a student is often taking longer to say the same sentence because their sentence is this long when you include the pauses and the fact they're not using reductions and linking. Whereas an English speaker, although they're saying the exact same words, it's this long because of taking away the pauses and reducing sounds and linking. So really, it's not that we're speaking faster, we're actually saying less words. And we're saying less words because we combine them. So let me give you an example. Here's a sentence I'm going to say very slowly, unnaturally. Thank you, but I bought a black car. So with this sentence, I paused between every word and I didn't link my sounds. So every word was said individually. Now, listen to me say this naturally. Thank you, but I bought a black car. Let's look at what happens. So for linking, we have thank you. But what I do is I transfer that sound to the next word and I'm actually saying thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, repeat. Thank you. Good. Now, the reason I do that is because it allows me to eliminate the pause because the K, the K is a hard sound and it forces me to take a breath of air. So to change that, I transfer the sound to the next word and I say, thank you because now I'm able to say it as one word. Thank you. Thank you, but I, hmm, but I. So here I'm not saying but I, I'm saying but I, but die. So I'm transferring the T sound onto the next word. Now you'll notice I'm saying it as a soft D because that's American pronunciation, but I but I, okay, good, bought a. Here, I just make this one sound, bought a, bought a. Okay, so now we have thank you, but I bought a, black car. So here, we have a sound that ends in a k, but the next word starts in a k. 
So because of this, I just eliminate one of the k sounds and I use it to link these two words together. So I say blah car, blah. So actually I'm not saying black. I'm changing this to blah, blah, which isn't a word, but I say it quickly and I combine it with car. So you hear the k on car, you hear it for both black car, black car, black car. Now it only works if you say it as one word. If I say blah car with a pause, it doesn't work. Okay, so all together, thank you, but I bought a black car. Tip three, practice slow and increase speed naturally. So let's take the sentence we were using before. When you're practicing this, start slow. So the way I said it, thank you, but I bought a, but I bought a, that's probably too fast for you right now. And that's okay. You can practice with a but I, but I bought a. Practice slow, but I bought a, but I bought a. Now say that maybe five times, maybe 10 times. Say it as much as you need to feel comfortable with the sound. And once you're comfortable, speed it up just a little bit. But I bought a, but I bought a. Now say that five or 10 times until you're comfortable with it. And then speed it up. But I bought a, but I bought a. And your goal is to gradually increase the speed until it sounds natural. But remember, your goal is not to say it quickly. The second you say it too fast and you lose clarity, so the person can't understand you, then you need to slow it down. But I bought a, that's too fast. I would not be able to understand that. So your goal isn't fast, your goal is natural. Bonus tip, use contractions. This is an area I find even my advanced students don't do this. They don't use contractions. But again, let's take the sentence, I will see you later. Okay, so all of a sudden you have I will, but I as an English speaker would not say I will. I would say I'll see you, all, all. Notice how I'm actually saying all, which is the unstressed pronunciation. The stressed pronunciation would be I'll, but naturally I would just say all, I'll see you, all, I'll see you later. So because of this, I am able to say the sentence faster because you're saying I will and I'm saying all. So I'm saying it a second faster because I'm only saying one sound and you're saying two sounds. So contractions are a great way to reduce your sounds and sound extremely natural in English. So there you go. Don't speak English fast. Speak it naturally but clearly, use linking to reduce your sounds, and practice slow and increase your speed naturally, and of course, use contractions to make those sounds even smaller. Let me know in the comments, what do you find most difficult about speaking English fast? I'd love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. And until next time, happy studying.